Today I wanted to share one of my favorite books with you. Um, this book is called Mouse Shapes. And the person who made this book made the words and the pictures. And their name is Ellen Stoll Walsh. Um, you might remember that we read Mouse Count at school this year. So this is another book by the same author. Mouse Shapes. Thought we would get some math in. Here's the dedication page. It says for Betsy and Ron. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. Hurry is a word that means go fast. Let's hide in here, said Martin. The mice, one, two, three gonna go hide in these colorful shapes. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. I think the cat is all gone. Look! We've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. We can make things with them. Here's a square. A triangle on top makes it a perfect house for a little mouse. You see the square with four sides and then the triangle with three sides on top. It looks just like a house. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. This circle is the sun. We learned all about the sun in November. Look at that yellow circle, it's a just right sun. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet, but any shape with three sides is a triangle. Look, this triangle is different from this triangle. It's different from that triangle. Triangles can look different ways, but if it has three sides, it's a triangle. Fred put two circles, one, two, on a rectangle. It's a wagon for the little mess in the house, he said. Two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. Look, it just looks like an open book. Here is one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a fish. That's a more complicated shape picture he made. He put all the shapes together to make a fish. Watch out, the cat likes fish, said Violet. I hope the cat doesn't see that fish and come running. Hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put on the eyes and nose. Fred stuck on the ears. Look, the ears are triangles, the nose is a triangle, and the eyes are circles. And Martin added the teeth. Those look like pointy teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said. Only better. Just then, the cat pounced. The mice ran away. They go away fast. They run. And they didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. The clever mice got to work. Soon they made three big scary mice. They used some different shapes to make big shaped mice.
and surprised the cat. <laughs> the cat looks very surprised. Has big eyes and an open mouth like that. The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now, what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. I wonder what shapes they'll use to make Swiss cheese. So they did. It looks like they used a big triangle and they cut some circles out of it and then added some other circles to make it look like the holes in Swiss cheese. That's so clever. What smart little mice. I really like the um, mouse books, the mouse shapes, mouse paint, mouse count. If you like them, you might be able to find another teacher reading one of those stories online, um, maybe on YouTube. I hope you like this book. Bye.